Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the third day of September 2024. Open your mouth this morning and begin to say, Amen, I believe as I receive. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to pray that it shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Going by the theme of our healing and breakthrough service yesterday, which was a blessed man. I want to declare to the life of everyone hearing the sound of my voice today, you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the things we treated in the service yesterday is that there is a word of difference between a blessed man and a rich man. A rich man can afford to buy whatever he wants to buy, so far he has the money. But a blessed man may not necessarily buy it. He, may, he can get it for free. So I'm praying for everyone hearing the sound of my voice this beautiful Tuesday morning. The Lord will change your status. The Lord will make you a blessed man. The Lord will make you a blessed woman. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, the word of God says, And God blessed them. He blessed them. And he said to them, Be fruitful. Replenish the earth. Be productive. It takes a blessed man to have all those attributes. So for everyone hearing me today, I declare you a blessed man. I declare you a blessed woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Today being Tuesday, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you and the glory and the blessings of God will manifest through you and it will manifest in you in Jesus' name. Everyone that will be traveling this Tuesday, I decree by the authority of the Lord, that his presence shall go with you. You will not come in contact with evil men and women on the way today. In Jesus' name. Somebody, you, there's a particular door you have been knocking. You have been knocking. That is, there's a place you have been expecting something to come from. And up to now, you have not gotten a yes for answer. But as I'm praying with you this morning, I'm praying for you. The Lord is stepping into that matter. In the next few hours, you are going, the door will be opened unto you. And you are going to get a yes answer in Jesus' name. Oh, somebody is having serious stomach upset, stomach, serious stomach pain. As I'm praying this morning, I want you to place your hand on your tummy. I command every disorderliness in that system be remain. I command the hand, I pray the hand of the Lord. Touch your system right now. And whatever is working contrary, let there be peace in your system now. Be healed and be delivered in Jesus' name. I pray for everyone today. The hand of the Lord will take off every evil in your life. In Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Today in our Bible reading this Tuesday, we are reading the book of Jonah. The book of Jonah chapters 3 and 4. The book of Jonah, chapters number 3 and chapter 4. Those are the two chapters we are reading today. Let me take uh, just two testimonies this beautiful Tuesday morning. Or before then, we're in our daily communion with God. In our daily devotional book, Daily Communion with God, we are on page 261. Page 261, and the heavenly meal that is prepared for us is... God can't forget me. Yes, God cannot forget me. I want you to be rest assured, beloved, that God can never forget you. Let me take one or two testimonies. The first one this morning say, Good afternoon, my daddy in the Lord. I want to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. My name is Soso Person from Lagos. At the beginning of the year 2024, I took a decision to pay the first fruit. I, pay, I took a decision to pay the first fruit of my of my of a salary of my first fruit as a salary earner. But along the line, I nearly changed my mind due to fear of the unknown. Eventually, God helped me to do so, and I can tell everyone boldly that God can never fail. He has continued to surprise me with money here and there, even from unexpected persons. Secondly, my lovely sister, which I requested prayer. Uh, for from daddy concerning her surgery came out successfully 
through uh, though daddy did not respond uh, to my request, to my chat but i know he prayed many other things god has done for me many other things uh, many other things god did for me through this ministry i cannot say all of them here due to time and space may the grace of god be multiplied for you daddy and your team heaven at last in jesus name amen thank god for that let me take the second one this morning second one says good morning reverend michael and yola my daddy in the lord please permit me to share god's goodness in my life my name is also Percy from enugun state before now i used to take typhoid and malaria drugs almost in, on a monthly basis but since i started reading our bible our daily bible reading which our daddy named it daily capsule for long now i cannot remember the month i took the drug indeed it is really spiritual daily capsule i thank god for everything wow that is a good one that is a good one to my good people in the city of jaws on the entire plateau i want you uh i want to bring to us i want to remind us of our program that is coming up just next week from 12 to 15 from thursday 12th to sunday 15th of september a four days power park program in the city of jaws the venue of the program is Zang Commercial Secondary School, Bukuru, just South Local Government. The program will start on, on Thursday, 12th of September, and we'll be rounding it up on Sunday, uh, 15th of September with Thanksgiving. By the grace of God, there's going to be a special attraction. On Saturday, it is going to be anointing and mantle service. Get ready. And by the grace of God, most likely by Friday morning, we are going to have one hour, one hour program with Reverend Eniola on Island FM. On Friday morning, there's a whole the one hour will be given to us to do a live program on Island FM with Reverend Eniola. That will be Friday, uh, 13th of September. So get ready, be part of the preparation and the Lord will bless you. Invite your friends and family members to come and be part of the program. The theme of the program is, I will cry no more. The Lord will wipe away your tears and you will cry no more. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Now this morning, let's hear the word of the Lord. For the past few days, we've been discussing on the subject of things that will not help you in life. Certain things that we do, that are not helpful to us in life. And instead of a lot of people to desist from them, they continue doing them. I say number one, excuses, giving or taking of excuses will not help you. Number two, keeping bad company will not help you. Number three, corruption will not help you. Then today, number four, I said it yesterday that I was speaking on procrastination. is another thing that if you are engaging it it is not going to help you in life what is procrastination procrastination is to put off intentionally for tomorrow what you are supposed to do today always having reasons not to do your assignment today and you leave it till tomorrow to put off intentionally the doing of something that should be done today and immediately with what you are supposed to do in the morning hours, you say, well, I will do it later in the day. That later in the day that you say you want to do it, that is, another, that is the time you are supposed to be doing another thing. So procrastination, like they say, is a thief of time. So if you are engaged in procrastination, or if you allow procrastination in your life, leaving till tomorrow, what you are supposed to do today, leaving till evening, what you are supposed to do in the morning, once you master it, once it becomes habit in your life, it will be very difficult for you to put it off and it will not help you. It will not help you. Just as corruption will not help you, keeping bad friends will not help you, taking, giving excuses all the time will not help you, so also procrastination will not help you. As you are hearing me this morning, whatever you are supposed to do now, do it, do it. Don't procrastinate. Don't leave it till tomorrow. Don't say, I will do it later in the evening. Why, don't, why not you do it now? 
Why don't you do it now? That evening or that tomorrow you are saying you will do it may not be there. Not that you are going to die, but that tomorrow may come and then there will be no opportunity for you to do it again. As a student, you, you, they give you, your, your teacher gives you assignment in school. Instead of you to do it, immediately you come back from school on Friday. Oh, I will do it on Saturday. Saturday come, oh, I will do it on Sunday. And by Monday morning, when you are supposed to go to school, that is when you are now rushing up to do assignment. You know you will not get good mark. You know you are not going to get good grade because you are not doing it on your own anymore. I put it to you this beloved, this morning, this beloved uh, Tuesday morning, stop procrastinating. It will not help you in life. Procrastination is forming an habitual you know, character or to put off intentionally the doing of something that what you are supposed to do. Stop postponing it. Stop shifting it. Stop saying, I will do it later. Do it now. It is when the opportunity comes. When you do it, when you are supposed to do it, you get a thumbs up, you get a, you get a pass mark, and then the next hour, you can be able to use it judiciously for what is supposed to be used for. I pray for you today that the Lord will bless you. The Almighty God will increase his grace and his honor upon your life remember to read your bible today the book of jonah the book of jonah chapters three and four and those are the two chapters that remain the book of jonah is just four chapters yesterday being monday we read chapters one and two today tuesday we are reading chapters three and four tomorrow if jesus studies we're going to begin the book of micah Gradually, we are coming to the end of the New Old Testament. And don't forget to read your daily communion with God on page 261. The, with a the heavenly meal titled, God Can't Forget Me. I pray for you today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will do well. And I declare you are blessed in Jesus' name. Have a lovely day. Amen.